Good evening, everybody. We've got the great pleasure of having Fausto with us again tonight. Always love having him on because he's got very, I want to say, very clear, very interesting trading strategies. And he's been uh, trading successfully for quite a few years. So the information you get from him is stuff that is actually in use. And uh, he does a good job of explaining how it works for everybody. So with that, Fausto, welcome back. Good to see you again. We'll let you take it away. Steve, thank you so much, everyone. And good evening, all candlestick traders. Let me get a little chat back if you could hear out and clear. Just want to do a quick audio check. All right, Nancy, good to see you. JC, Agatha. Well, let me just tell you this right now, guys. I am broadcasting live from Putacana because I had to go away with my family for the holidays. But I told Steve, I said, Steve, um, I told Becky, I, I, you know, um, due to the time of the year when we're, when we're doing this event, I want to do this. Um, and it's great that the, the beauty about me being here and doing the event right now just gets to show you you can do this anywhere in the world. You go out there, you make money, you enjoy life, you could trade out of your hotel room, you could trade from your house, anywhere on vacation, and, and make this worth wild, and that's the greatest thing of all. Now, and, that, and that's what it's all about. We go out there, we make money, and one of the biggest things that you need to do is go out and enjoy, because you only live once. One thing my, my, my parents always taught me, they said, you've got to treat every day like it's your last day. So go out and enjoy it. Where in the world is that? <laughs> Puta Gana? It's in Dominica Republic. It's a nice little resort. I highly recommend it. <laughs> there you go. All right. So anyway, guys, my uh, today's, uh, today's topic is going to be how to be a two-hour trader and how to double your income in, in um, on your free time. Now, one of the big things that I kind of teach, ladies and gentlemen, is that have any of you guys, by the way, have ever seen a presentation I've done before? I mean, I know Steve for a very, very long time. Him and I are probably one of the top Mohegans that have been around. Um, I mean, he said a few years. I've actually been doing this for over 20 years now, one of the longest-running schools. But um, but uh, have any – oh, in Times Square, um, Times Square? All right, great, great. Sony, good to see you. First timer, Bob. All right, Bill. You have it. Okay, good, good, good. So we got a lot of newbies here. Oh, this is great. They're great. All right. So um, it's always nice to have a bunch of great, um, newbies here. By the way, um, and this is being recorded, so if anyone misses it and wants to watch it again, you're more than welcome. Anyway, so let's get right into it, guys. Let me just change the slide here. Let me just tell you a little bit about myself so you know who I am, why I'm here, and why Steve wants me to come and talk to you guys so you understand exactly what this is all about. Now, I've been teaching for over 20 years. Um, I, for five years, I was a prop trader. I was also a market maker. i um, been day trading for over 25 years. But I got into the teaching business about 20 years ago. Now, why does everyone ask, you know, what is cyber trading? Why do you teach? You know, Fausto, you've been doing this for so long. You're a 12-time world champion. You beat everyone all over the world. What, what, like, what is the reason? Well, let me just tell you this. Great traders, first of all, never stop learning. And when I went on my own, my mentor, like when I started as a prop trader, a proprietary trader, and as a market maker, I didn't like splitting the profits. And, and that was the reason. But before I was a, a successful trader, I just want to admit I was a, success, a successful loser. And let me tell you this, and Steve will tell you this himself, and, he, and I know he'll agree with me. This is not something you can go out there and learn on your own. You have to have mentors. And unfortunately, I was the ignorant 22-year-old kid that had to figure out that the hard, hard way. But I took a job. I learned from the best traders in the world after realizing that there's got to be a better way doing this. There has to be a better way. And I did it. And what happened was I figured it out pretty quickly. It took me about a year 
um, to be very, very successful. And believe it or not, I was basically semi-retired at the age of 23, uh, actually 24, I would say. But when it came down to it, my mentors told me one very valuable thing. Now, a lot of you here are probably very skeptical and like want to know, well, why do you teach? And, and you know, I'm such a great trader. What do you do it for? I'll tell you why. Because I'm because to me very to be very successful, I have to surround myself with very successful traders, and that's what it's all about. So, when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, everybody here has to be surrounded by a team. Steve runs a great trading room, and not only that, but Steve has trained some very good traders in the room, and he's good at what he does, and that's what it's all about. You have to be part of a team. That's what it's all about. Because you can't trade by yourself. You can, because when trading by yourself, you can't pass ideas, you can't do this. So anyway, getting back to how I got into this industry and in the education business is because my mentors told me, he says, hey, Fausto, you want to lead these 400 traders on the floor? You want to lead the, let's just say, I don't know if we have any football fans out there, but... You want to leave the, 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 the New England Patriots, and I'm unfortunately a, you know, a miserable uh, diehard do Jet fan, <laughs> unfortunately, which I've been destroying our lives. But when it comes down to it, you want you, you know, it's, it's the Yankees, whatever it is, you have to surround yourself with great traders, okay? Here you go, Eric says, let's go Giants. Well, you know what, I can't wait, I, not to change the subject, uh, Eric, but I can't wait for the, uh, the draft. And see what happens. You guys are going to pick two and we're going to pick three. So it's going to be great. It's definitely a New York moment. But with that said, Eric, you know, realistically, it's all about surrounding yourself with great, great, great traders. So what I did was, why I'm here is that I'm not, all, I'm not here to, you know, say, rah, 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 I'm here to give away a free monitor. Hey, rah, rah, I'm here to give a free computer Hey, listen, look at this guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay somebody money if you, if you make a million dollars for my teaching. Guys, listen, I'm not here to buy anybody, okay? Because when it comes down to trading, nobody needs to convince anyone to buy you to join their product. You just know if you sync with somebody. And that's what it's all about. Because every single one of you need a mentor, now, why do I trade? Let me just tell you something really quick. Um, Jerry, you know, who you may know, no, you probably wouldn't, unless you live here in New York, Jerry, because I was, you know, I, I was born and raised here in New York. I was surrounded by the best traders in the world. I mean, James Belizzi, Frank Ferrara. I mean, I, you know, some of the old day trading firms, like, you know, bro, um, guys from Broadway Trading and Castle Securities and Block Trading. I mean. It's 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 it, it doesn't matter, you know. It's it's not about who the person is. It's the company you work for who had a great great program. Now, why do I teach guys? Is exactly what you're looking right there on the screen. That's my lovely family right now. My wife Debbie, Alex, Lucas, Max, and we're right here right now at Putacana. You know, Putacana. Can you say that right? Enjoying a vacation, and I'm here right now spending the time. You know, doing a webinar because I want you to do exactly what I'm doing right there. Because if if that photo that you're looking at right now is is um is Lake George, because let me explain something to you. Trading allows you to do this anywhere in the world. Who 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 doesn't have thirty minutes, uh, an hour to spend over the course of the day and sit there and enjoy life? There's no business in the world that's going to give you the opportunity to make the money you're looking to make with the least amount of risk, with the high amount of reward, without dealing with employees, dealing with regulation, dealing with taxes, dealing with all that stuff. You are your own boss. But you've got to know how to play the game. Now, the reason why I'm here explaining this to you guys and not getting into the education part of it, I just want you guys to get a little sense of who I am because I'm a human being I am just like you. I started just like you. I was born like you. I'm a human being. And, you know, I am here because I want you guys to realize that if you want to be very successful in trading, you have to surround yourself with great traders and you have to play the game. Now, um, regarding about a question, 
okay? Just out of curiosity, just to get to know a little bit about everyone in this room, could everyone just tell me what kind of trader is everyone? Are you a stock trader, an options trader, you know, a futures trader? What kind of trader is everyone? Okay, so Eric, you're, you're a scalper. Okay, good, good. Stocks, swing trading and options, options. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is great. Futures, Forex, options. Okay. All right, now let me just tell you what I am. Okay. I am a day trader, and I'll tell you why. First of all, here on Wall Street, when you watch the New York Stock Exchange, everybody down there is day trading. I am a professional day trader. What, that, what does that mean? That means I could sleep at night. That means like right now, I can go out to dinner and spend time with my family and not worry about like, oh my God, is the market going to crash? What happened today? Is this just a fake rebound? You know, I made bad, oh, maybe the stock I own right now is going to come back because I got crushed about two days ago. You know, that's what it's all about. So for a lot of you out here right now telling me that you're a Forex trader, you're an options trader, you're a swing trader, let me tell you something. If you want to be good at any of those, you have to understand the concept of day trading because what happens over the course of the day is what trickles down to a swing trade or trickles down into a long-term trade like options. So like, listen, you've got to be a good stock trader to be a good options trader. Now, Steve does a phenomenal job teaching you guys about certain indicators, certain candlesticks, but let, let, you have to understand something. But it, when those things take into effect, you know, if you want to understand how they come into fruition, you have to understand what happens over the course of the day. Now, different strokes for different folks, you know. So that's why I'm here right now and telling you guys that if we have any day traders out there or maybe you want to learn how to day trade, because I am one of the pioneers who started day trading. Um, when I started, with, I mean, it was about less than 500 of us. Now there's over 10 million around the world. It's just something that is a preference. Now, every single one of you are going to need a mentor. Every one of you are going to need to learn a little bit about everything else. But do something that makes sense to you. And to make sense to me is, I don't know, I just like this. And that's what the whole idea about what day trading is versus swing trading. Now, who do you think is smarter? The guy that learns own and wants to be self-educated and everything else. And you know what? Listen, the reason why you guys are here is 8 o'clock at night, you know, depending on where you are in the world. And the thing is, you know, you're here to learn how to play the game because you know what? There's 10 million people in this world that are just plain old ignorance. And if you think education's expensive, try ignorance. So what I want, what I'm here to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm not just here to tell you who I am and you know rah 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 Fausto and get educated guys and why Cyber Trading University has been around so long. No, I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to brag. Okay, what I'm here to do right now is I want to teach you the art of what day trading is because guess what? It might not be for you. It might, might not. So let me explain, but it might be. Some of you were probably very scared of day trading and were like, oh my God, I was like, I heard about it happened in 2000, 2000. Well, let me tell you the real truth about day trading because, you know, like, like you know, like Donald Trump. Trump might say, and if you like him or hate him, there's a lot of fake news out there because some people don't want you to look at the reality of that. So, audio sound okay? Okay, let me just log out and log back in. 
Let me just log out and log back in. Hold on a second. Quick uh, audio check. Just let me know. All right. Hopefully that works a little better. All right. Let me just reload the slides, okay? Just let me know, guys. Sometimes I probably... You're right. Some hotels, uh, audio, um, bad internet connection, but I'm trying to do the best I can. So let me get to the education part of it, guys. And let me just change the slide here. Just give me a second. All right, so as these things are uploading, looks like their slides are loading right now. Do we have any day traders out there? Is anybody day trade actually right now? Zen, you do. Okay. Jan, W, okay. Trying, Frank? Okay. Once in a while, Lee. All right. So as these slides are just uploading right now, um, what I'm about to show you is I'm going to educate you guys a little bit about something that's called Level 3. Has anyone ever heard of Level 3 before? Ever heard of Level 3? Okay. So just to let you know, I helped develop Level 3 when it first started. I helped build it. I was, I was one of the... The, um, the developers who built it. And level three basically is going to show you 70% of the volume. That's what level three is going to show you. It's going to show you exactly where the buyers and sellers are. Okay? So I'm just waiting for this uh, PowerPoint to load up. Could everybody see the PowerPoint or is it... Um, just let me know if you can see the PowerPoint. No, okay. Let's see if I could do something else. Hold on one second. Yes, it's always important to multitask. Um, uh, still on Goldman Sachs twenty thousand dollar slide. All right. So let me just change the slide here. Basically, what I'm going to show you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly how trading works, okay? Now, first of all, I want you to understand something. 50% of the traders fail by having the wrong platform, the wrong execution system. You have to understand something. Brokerage firms will go out there and they will, you know, they'll tell you about the cheap ticket charges. They'll run really nice commercials. Actually, I just yesterday, actually the past two days, I don't know if you guys do any business? Anyone here have an account with TradeStation? Anyone here tra uh, trade with TradeStation? Because I was just with them at the Oculus in New York City. They they actually um, did a big, big, big event there at the Oculus. Yes, okay. And um, they were giving a free hair, haircuts, all that good stuff. All right, hopefully that sounds a little better. Just want to do a quick audio check. All right, so basically what we're going to talk about is we're going to get into level three, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. These are your buyers. 
and these are your sellers. Okay? Now, there are buyers out there and there are sellers out there. What you're looking at on level three is not what you see on level two. Level two is only showing you the best bid and best offer of a brokerage firm. They're not showing you all the bids and all the offers. So what does that mean? Basically, the thing that we teach you at CyberTrade University is following the money. That's it. 70%, think about that. If you could monitor 70% of the volume, how much better and smarter trades would you do? So, you guys are ready for this? Okay, that's new seatbelts, because this is where the education comes in. We're going to look at Twitter. Do you see how the stock Twitter went from 32 all the way up to a price of $34, came down, hit 34, came down, hit 34. Why does this stock have a major problem breaking $34? I'll tell you why. Because on level three, there is somebody of an institution or Fausto or it could be Steve Bigelow, they're selling 11,000 shares. So think about it. Who has more of a predominant resistance level, the 600 share seller or the 11,000 share seller? That is where level three helps you with your support and resistance levels. Here's another one. The stock goes from all the way up to about 550, comes back down, and look at the days right here. One day, two days, three days, four days, five days. This stock has one major problem breaking the price of 375. Why is that? Because there's somebody that has a limit order to buy 200,000 shares. Until somebody sells that guy 200,000 shares, or until that guy cancels the 200,000 shares, guess what? This stock is not going lower. Okay? It's got to break that order first. That's trading 101. So level three has to show all the orders. That's right, Eric. Very good. So think about it. You just nailed it right on the head. You see, guys, I have a question for all of you. How do stocks go up and down in the market? Can everyone answer that question? I know it's a dumb question. And honestly, if you can't answer this question, I recommend you to um, stop trading, if that's okay. How do things go up and down? It's just I know it's a dumb question. Just Just answer it. Nobody's going to make fun of you. Nobody's going to rat you out to your spouse. Just write S&D. Listen, there are almost 200 people in here. Just write S&D. S&D, supply and demand. Come on, Bill. Come on, Brad. Bruce. Campy. Come on, don't be shy. No one's going to make fun of you. No one's going to, no one's going to bother you. Listen, to be a good trader, you have to interact you have to engage in a conversation. It's one of the biggest things we teach you at CyberTrade University. If you do not interact, that means you're a deer in the headlights. And let me tell you something. They don't work too well for the deer, okay? <laughs> All right. So, let's continue with this. Let's look at this example, guys. What do you think the stock's going to do? Go up or down? TWTR. Let's, let's have an example. What do you think it's going to do? Up or down? Sideways? No, that's close. I didn't. I didn't say sideways. I said up or down. Well, when you look at the trend, it's been going down. But you know what's funny? Some of you are saying up. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, what? I'm missing some data. I need a little bit more. Well, guess what? What if I told you there was a twenty-one thousand share buyer at thirty dollars? Right? Well, guess what? What happened at thirty dollars? Stock went right back up. And if you knew the buyer was out there at thirty dollars and you sold it at thirty fifty, you made fifty cents. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders, can you tell me what fifty cents 
equals on a thousand shares. How much money is that? What is fifty cents on a thousand shares? Five hundred dollars, right? Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Gary. Okay, I can't. I can't. Say, can't talk for everyone else, but obviously you guys could add pretty quick. So, how did you know it was going to bounce at thirty dollars? Because there was a twenty, that one, 20, almost a twenty-two thousand share buyer out there. Guys, follow the money. That's all you have to do. Here's another one. GE. What do you think the stock's doing, everyone? Going up or down? What do you think? Well, Jan, listen, about capital, let me tell you something. That's the least of your problems, okay? Because if it was a thousand shares or a hundred shares or one share, you're here for one reason and one reason only. You want to be in this business, okay? Don't worry about the money. That's the least of your problems because guess what? If you can get the opportunity, you know what's so funny? Can I be honest with you guys? You, you met my family. I showed you a picture of them, okay? I have a 17-year-old son that is now looking to go to college. For some reason, every one of the colleges want between fifty and $70,000 times four. And that doesn't even include that they're going to guarantee they're going to get a job. But... Do they have money? Can they afford it? Right? Who's paying that job? Oh, no problem. You just take a student loan. Don't worry about it. You're going to make the money anyway. Right? So do yourself a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about ticket charges. Don't worry about the cost of the stock. Okay? That's the easy part. But if you're worrying about that, then I'm telling you right now, and Steve will tell you the same thing. Do yourself a favor. Quit while you're ahead, because you're just going to blow up your account. And like I said before we started, because my mentor told me the same thing, it's not for everybody. Okay? If you have that problem, well, you don't want to be a poor man playing a rich man's game. So, getting back to this stock. Is this stock going up or going down? Right? Well, from the direction of the stock, it means it's going up. But what happens when you have a 32,000 share seller sitting at 1350 well there we are look what happened not once but twice it went up came back down went up came back down follow the money that's all you have to do listen when I was a trader before I learned from mentors here the best traders on Wall Street this is Fausto stop figuring it out. Just follow the money. What is so hard? You know what is so hard? I'll tell you exactly what's so hard. How many of you here have level three quotes? Raise your hand. How many say yes or no? How many? Now I see what you're saying. Well, thank you. I don't. No, 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 no. Okay. Listen, at the end of this presentation, guys, I will go out there and I'm going to invite you guys to join me in my professional training room. And not only forget about me, I'm going to have my students go out there and show you how to read the market. Now, why would they go out there and show it instead of me? Because I want you to understand that I could teach you to teach other people. You see how many of you are saying no? Think about it. Did you know that 70% of the volume is controlled by volume and all you had to do is follow the money? Now, CB, now regarding about which brokerage firms offer it, listen, I'm not going to tell you. Um, listen, we're brokerage firm neutral and we educate for, I don't know, probably so many, several brokerage firms all over the country Fidelity, uh, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, TradeStation. You know, uh, uh, Tasty Works, all of them. Forget about you know everything that you're looking at. Don't worry about it. That's the least of your problems, right? Why worrying about going out there and buying it? Don't worry about buying it. That's the least of your problems. 
I'll take care of that. Let's just find out if trading's for you. Okay? The, the best, see, everybody wants to learn how to trade, but nobody wants to take the time to learn it first. Okay? That's where you have to look at it. Now, why, what are these called? Okay, now here at Cyber Training University, um, now Jan, no, now I'm very good friends with Tom Sosnoff. He, he's a very personal friend of mine from Tasty Trade. He actually comes on Cyber Trading University several times. Um, and you know what, Jan? I will actually show you how to utilize that Tasty Trade platform with the Level 3 platform. Okay? Does that sound like a deal? Same thing with all you think are swim traders, you know, um, trade station traders, how to use the matrix, all that stuff. Okay? All right. Now, what are these called? They're called iceberg orders, a word that we, we invented at Cybertrain University. And the reason why we call them iceberg orders is because everybody always looks at top, but nobody realizes it's what's on the bottom. <laughs> because the boat could sit here and say, oh, we're pretty far away. We'll be fine. We're not going to crash. Yeah, well, sure enough, he didn't realize. Boom. Those are... And that's what you have to look for because the guy didn't want to buy GPS to see what's on the bottom. You only want to be cheap. You want to see what he could see. That's what trading's all about. Um, cutting out, cutting in, and cutting out again. A am I uh, cutting out okay, guys, or am I sounding okay? I have to log out and log back in. Sometimes that always helps. I'm good. Okay, good, good. All right. Now, the next question people ask, and, and I'm shocked that no one even said this yet. They said, you know what, Fausto? I heard about this before, and people told me that these are fake orders. What about the dark pools? What about the, you know, the algorithms and all that? Let me tell you something, guys. I help all that stuff. I know, what, I know all about them. I trade every day. Well, maybe not every day. I didn't trade today because I was traveling. Um, but... Um, but for 25 years, you know, learning from the best traders and surrounding myself with the best traders, one of the things they taught me is you follow the money. And how do we do that? And how do we know they're real orders? Something that's called time and sales. So anybody here using time and sales? I have people tell me all the time, they're like, oh, I saw time and sales. And, you know, I watched it. I can't read it. It goes so fast. I don't know what the hell it's for. Now, listen to me carefully. I'm going to explain to you exactly how the market works and how traders, what they look for. Have any of you guys ever heard of a tape reader? You ever, ever heard of tape reader? Okay. I am actually a professional tape reader. Okay. A tape reader, what they're doing is they're reading the tape. You know when you watch the financial stations and they have that little thing on the bottom, the quotes that go on the bottom, it's called tape, that's the tape. I'm a tape reader. I was trained. I could just read that tape and I could tell you exactly what the market, what the stock's going to do, if it's going, if it's not. And that's what I'm going to teach you. So what I'm looking to do, what I'm looking for, guys, is I'm looking for serious traders that want to learn how to trade because I'm looking to teach people that I can make money with. Okay? Audio's coming in and out again? Is everybody sound Jan, audio's out in and out? Is it okay for everybody? If not, I'll log out and log back in. It's fine? Okay. All right, it must be on your end. So, basically, what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to teach you, when you're watching time and sales, you'll be able to see the orders as they get executed. So when you see those orders out there, you need to have confirmation that they got executed. Guess what? If they get executed, they're going to be green on the offer. If, they, if the people are selling, it'll become red. Now think about it. If you got a lot of greens, stock's going up. You get a lot of reds, the stock's going down. Look what happened here. Here's our instructor, one of our instructors, Josh Leviton. Here we are trading you know, GE. Here's Ron B. You'll get to meet him. Benito. They all see the stock going up beautifully, right? How do they know that? Look at all the green. Green, 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 green. 
buy, 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 buy. Those are all transactions. You ever see those green tickers on that time at sales? I'm like, I don't get it, Fausto. What is that? Well, it's very simple. When you see the orders and see them getting executed, that's a sign of demand. And when you see a lot of reds and you're seeing a lot of stock trending down, that's called, you know, a, a, a supply. You have supply and demand. That's how things go up and go down. Just follow the money. That's all you have to do to keep things very simple. Look at all the reds. Look at everybody just selling. Sell, 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 sell. And look at the trends. And look at all the traders shorting it. Twitter on the way down. You know, being a very successful trader is surrounding yourself not by a great mentor also. It's just more or less also surrounding yourself with great traders and making money with them. And that's what trading is all about. Here's X. Here's another one. Look at all the traders. John B., I'm up 20, 20, 20 cents on a short. By the way, here at Cybertradeversity, I just want to let you guys know, one of the big rules that we preach is we never tell anyone to brag of how much money they make. Just feel it's insulting and embarrassing. You know, I don't think it's anyone's business, so we always tell them how much money they can make. Um, so if you multiply, but the average trader trades a thousand shares. So if you multiply by a thousand, you have a little bit of an idea. That's usually the ultimate goal. But that's why we have it all. We have everybody just show how much money they're up. Twenty cents, sixteen cents, up ten. That's what trading's all about. Um, question: Is this part of your trading room? Well. Eric, the thing is this. My job is to teach you how to play the game. My job is to teach you how to journal. My job is to teach you, you know, um, how to control losses. And the job, you know, because we run two rooms. We run a teaching room and a trading room. And it's your job to play the room, know how to play the game once, we, once you learn and play with the big boys because you're going to be on Sunday, Sunday, you know, playing Sunday football, and that's where you make your money. You understand? So all week you're with CTU, learning and getting prepared for the big day on Sunday. Um, Gary, you know what? I don't trade Forex. Um, I've traded it before, and um, I know how to trade it, but I just preferably like stock trading because I have more control, and, you know, Think about it. When you turn on the stations, what do you hear all day? Stock market, stock market, stock market, stock. So, you know, that's the beauty of it. You don't hear, like, think about it. 90% of what they talk about TV is not about futures, not about Forex, it's not about, it's not about options. It's always stocks. Now, not to say you can't make money with Forex or futures and options, but if you, you, know, if you understand how to day trade first, then, you know, then you'll understand how these Forex stocks move. Okay. Now, how do C2 stock um, C2 students find stocks to trade? Well, getting into that, guys, what we do is this. I don't care what I trade. I don't want to know what the company does. It's the least of my problems. I'm just here to make money. So how do we do that? We just work off the big percentage gainers and losers. That's it. We're momentum traders. Okay? Listen, the market doesn't move every day. If you trade, you know, if you trade Facebook or Intel, I mean, granted, the market's been very volatile lately, but there are stocks of 30, 50, 100%, 300% in a day. Think about it. In one day, you're like, that sounds impossible. I heard about it. It's like a unicorn. It's like I heard about it, but I never seen one. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to see what it's like to be in stocks that have the, mo the biggest, the most momentum over the course of the day. And guess what? You can be that two-hour trader. Just know how to play that game. Here, here's a stock. You know, here. here dead, by the way, anyone heard of the stock RKDA? Just out of curiosity, did anybody hear about that stock RKDA? One of the stocks that we traded right here. I tweeted it. 
Oh yeah, look at <laughs> look at all. Wow, I am shocked. Look at that. I couldn't believe how many of you are saying yes. Well, anyway, um, here is a tweet. Um, and in my trading room, when we traded it, that was at eight forty nine a.m. and and here at Cybertrain University. Let me. Well, when when you come in our trading room, we make most of our money in the pre-market, and um, the stock had a really nice move in the pre-market. It had some program trading kicked in, and um, at 8:49, when I made that announcement, right around here, the stock really had a nice bounce. Went from, you know, 14 to 17. So bam, 9:30 came, and the stock went all the way to 40. Actually, went all the way to 60. And just guys, just count the money. Kent owed me four thousand, three dollars, three dollars, twenty. You know, got in twenty-five, three forty-two. Everyone made no less than three thousand dollars on this trade. Now I'm not here to brag about this one position, okay? But I'm not here to make two, three hundred percent. I'll be happy to make, you know, two, three percent on on my account. Um, but this is – how do we know my, – my point is, how did you find it, Fausto? How did you know RKDA went up? Because by the time everyone heard about it, it was already at $30 or $40. How did you know when it was at 15 Because of this. Most of our trades are done in pre-market. Okay? We make most of our money, and we do our classes in the pre-market hours. And I'm going to invite all of you guys to see that. Okay? By the way, is anyone here trade pre-market? Um, Z says, what about the spread? Well, Z, listen, some of them are very big. They're very big, but that's why you have somebody like us that's going to help you find the ones that don't have the big spreads. Okay? Sometimes, Eric, not yet. Sometimes. Okay, Jan. Well, once again, it's all about being set up the right way. You know, if you're not set up, you obviously can't trade it. But you can see right here, guys, look at the volume. Most of the money is made within the first hour and the last hour for the close. That's where why today's topic is being the two-hour day trader. See, guys, we don't need to, um, to be a leader. We just need to be a follower, all right? And when it comes to trading, it's having the right platform, crazy noise, because when you start adding all this stuff, it just confuses you. And makes you, you know, it kind of holds you back. You have to just learn, follow the money, see where the buyers are, like this. Just draw my lines. All right. And like this, we see the 10,000 share buyers. Because when you see this, and you're like, oh, yeah, the stock had support levels here, here. Oh, guess what? The stock is back at support. Yeah, really? Where's the 10,000 share buyer? He's over there at, at 6, 635. Where's he now? He probably was there five minutes ago, but he's not there now. So think about it, guys. Ask yourself a question. How many of you here are following the money? Because it's the money... That controls the movement of the stock. That's how FBI agents do it all day long. Okay? That's how the mafia got caught. That's how everybody gets caught. You follow the money. Hey, forget about doing things illegal. How about legally? How many of you know people that are so wealthy and like, my God, I wish I could work with a guy like that. He just makes so much money. But I just can't get a job in that company or whatever it is. Guys, it's not that hard. Okay? It's not that hard. And you know what? I could teach you how to do it. But I'm looking for serious traders. If you're a serious trader and you want to learn how to play the game of how it works, then come down and watch and implement everything that Steve has taught you. Because great traders... Never stop learning.
learning. Listen, why would you do it for 25 years? But to do it successfully, you have to surround yourself with great traders. So, oh, is the audio breaking up? Is it okay now? Is the audio okay? Just want to catch up. Just give me a chat back. Okay now? Okay, good. All right. I had the microwave. Up. All right, so anyway, I love this photo. So anyway, stop acting like him and just keep things simple. Um, I'm about to order my book, uh, Eric. Well, you know what, Eric? Before you order my book... Let me just tell you a little bit more about what I can give you, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so I like your, your style, Fausto, but I have a very small account. Um, I have to day trade options. Bill, listen. Forget about your brokerage account, okay? You think you have a small account. It's not as small as you think. Because let me tell you this, Bill. You don't need a lot of money to do this. The more money you spend, the better traders you're dealing with, the harder it is to make money. Okay, Bill? So just forget about that right now. So think about this for a second, guys. If you put 1,000 shares of stock and lose 50 cents, it's $500 a day, there's your six-figure salary. Who doesn't want that job? Think about it. How many of you guys here are retired? How many of you guys here are on Social Security? How many of you guys got to pay medical bills? How many of you guys are in between jobs? How many of you guys are business owners? or sick and tired of your mutual fund guy that's whacking you with ticket charges and we had the biggest rally and the market went like, I didn't really make that much, right? Bill, you're one of them? Guys, I know, listen, I hear it all day long, all day, and I'm sick and tired of it. That is why I love teaching people and doing this. This is why I'm here on vacation doing an event today because I want, because I care. I really do. I care because the thing is this, money never sleeps. I'm not the guy that sits back on some lounge chair and saying, you know, I did good for the day. I'm only as good as a trader than the traders I teach because they make me better. More eyes and ears out there, the more money we make. So, this is what I'm offering all of you guys. I want you to come join my trading room, and I want you to meet the guys, the Larrys, the Litas, the Ken, the Benitos, the, 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 you know, all the famous traders, hundreds of them, and this is what I want you to do. Watch them. Watch them day trade. Listen, I have a 90-year-old woman in there. If she can make money, damn, you can make money, Okay. I'm not going to tell you who her name is. You'll, you'll see when you come in the room. But she loves it. Think about it. It's not that hard. So your dream job is here. Let's get on the wagon. Let's do it. Because every single one of you need a mentor. And that's why Steve has me here. Because you can learn a little bit and implement it towards your trading. And get you better at it. This is not a self-taught individual business. And I just want to just make one last comment, guys. I was personally featured on some of the biggest and most powerful brokerage firms in the industry. Do you think TradeStation would have me in front of thousands of their clients? Do you think Tasty Trade or a TD Ameritrade or Thinkorswim or Charles Schwab or even Wiley write a book and says, Fausto, we want you to write a book for, for us. How many people have uh, sponsored by Wiley to write a book? Which, because the reason I'm bringing that up because a lot of you are bringing up the name of the book. Okay? Listen, there's a, not thank you very much, Eric, not that many. And by the way, be careful what you read over the internet. You know, because people say, oh, but, you know, it's funny, I had somebody come up to me the other day and he says, you know, Fausto, I read something really bad about you on the internet. I'm like, really? What was that? I was on the Better Business Bureau? Oh, no, no, no. It was some other website. Yeah, really? Oh, that was the extortionist. Oh, that was the competitor. Okay? You know what? Forget about the fake news, and why don't you go out there and try to see it yourself? Especially when you've been doing it for 25 years, as long as me and Steve have been doing it. Listen, do we make everyone successful? No. 
Of course not. It's not for everybody. But don't believe everything you see because these brokerage firms out there would never put their money and their name on the line for something out there. It is very big. So this is what I'm asking all of you. What I'm asking for is this. I'm getting an offer for $7. Okay? $7 is what you're going to get. You're going to get one week in my trading room. You're going to get three daily trading market meetings. You're going to get a, your own personal education advisor. Okay, you're going to get a tape reading course. And if you're not happy after seven days, I'll give you $7 back. Now, why would Fausto go out there and say, what are you doing this all for $7? You know why I'm doing it for $7? Because I'm looking for real traders. And you know what? If you're a real trader, I want to make sure you're a real person. I want to make sure you're not a... A competitor. I want to make sure you're not just a heckler. Listen, the seven dollars is peanuts. Listen, I, I know it's like, uh, trust me, the seven dollars doesn't even cover the webinar technology because Steve and I know we, we use the same technology and we know it's very expensive. You know, with Omnovia, I'm looking for real traders, okay? And all you have to do is um, go to our website. There you go. Becky's got the link right there. Just click on the C2.trial, $7, and you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a bonus right now. For the first 20 people that register right now, the first 20, I will personally give you a coaching class. Think about it. Fausto is going to talk to me for $7. Why would he waste, my, waste his time? I'll tell you why I waste my time. First of all, you came here and wasted your time to be here, which to me is very valuable. That means you're serious. And number two, if you're a serious trader, then I'm looking for, I'm looking for serious traders. So go out there. If you're, if you're the first seven people right now, I mean the first 20 people that register right now, I will personally give you a coaching class. Okay? Not only, and with that, you're going to get one week in the trading room. You're going to get three daily uh, market meetings. And you know, you're gonna get your own personal education advisor, you're gonna get QA, you're gonna get coaching, you're gonna get everything. So guess up think about it. What do you have to lose? Nothing. So all the things that you heard about, all the skeptical stuff, all the negative stuff, and you know, think, oh, you're gonna lose all your money, guess what? You know what? You got seven dollars to lose. And think about it. If you think education's expensive, you think seven dollars expensive, try ignorance. Um Okay, now, Eric, um, do we get one-on-one -on -one call from you, like offer on your website? Yes, Eric. So if you register, you will... Did we lose sound? <laughs> Sorry about that guy. But you know what? We'll blame it. On, we'll blame it on the. They always say blame on the Russians. We're gonna blame it on. We're gonna blame it on Putakana, <laughs> the internet. <laughs> but anyway, um, guys. So listen. Like Steve, I mentioned. Um, everybody is you know a different type of trader. It, it's always recommended that you all learn a little bit from everyone. Um, learn a little bit about the candlesticks with Steve Bigelow. Learn a little bit about day trading, options, swing, and find out what's good for you because that's why we're here. The reason what makes us great traders, guys, is you being a great trader and learning from us and, and helping us. Um, but it's not for everyone. Eric, well, listen, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ron, um, appreciate it. Look forward to teaching you and being part of it. Uh, do we have some control? when to use the seven dollars effective yes cb so basically when you register um if you want to start it next week or in, or in two weeks from now you're more than welcome to you want to start it right away once again steve the seven dollars to make sure you're a real person that's all it is you know um and you know what if you don't want it we'll give you money back it's, it's, trust me we're not getting rich on seven dollars we're actually losing money um i'm just want to make sure you're a real trader because you know what if you're a real trader you really want to learn how to do this just like Steve Bigelow does, you know, listen, it's not easy, guys. Think about it. It's, it's part of, you got to know how to play the game. Um, do you get seven days in full seven days trading? Um, well, 
you, yes, well, you're going to get five days from Monday to Friday, and then you also get all the recordings, the classes, the traders talk, you know, including with the Saturdays and Sundays. Okay? Any other questions? What's next after seven days, Robert? Well, basically, listen, if you want to continue, it's $87. If not, you know, you could cancel. It's, it's, not, it's not important to us. Um, but honestly, if you really, really want to learn, that's just a trading room. It's not a teaching room. If you want to learn, then, then you know, you could talk to one of our instructors and our education advisors that tell you about some ways of learning. But if not, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But think about it. Don't worry about that. That's the least of your problems. First, let's see what trading is all about. Let's see the stock go up 20, 30, 50 percent. Let's see the students that are making money doing it. Uh, when do we need to, uh, the, um, to get uh, the course from you, Eric? Well, listen, Eric, and you, and you know what? I'm really looking forward to talking to you because you're really proactive. And it looks like you really want to learn how to do this. Just, you know what? All you have to do is um, you, once you register, you're going to notice on your dashboard, you're going to have an education advisor's name. He's gonna. He, you'll be able to follow up with him. He'll be your mentor, and then he'll make the appointment for um, you and I to talk. Do you need a specific platform, Gene? No, you don't. Absolutely not. You can use what you're using right now. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Listen. Don't worry about the brokerage firm account. Let me teach you and learn how to drive first, and then we'll worry about buying the car. Okay. Uh. Peter says, uh, can I use Thinkorswim platform? Well, Peter, you know what? If you go on Thinkorswim, um, there's a bunch of recordings on me. I've been, I've been educating Thinkorswim client, clients for about 15 years now, and you can use that platform. It's a good platform. So, um, yes, you can use it, and don't worry about it. Danny, welcome aboard. I look forward to talking to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, you know, and see you in the trading room. Does, does Thinkorswim... Just Trader says, does Thinkorswim have level three? You know they don't, okay, because I'll tell you why. Level three costs $15 a month from the exchanges. So, you know, it's a great, great uh, trading platform, but there's certain things they don't offer. But don't worry about it. I I'll tell you where to get it. Um, right from the exchange, I'm, you know, right from NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. It's not like, you know, a third-party company. So uh, you could use it side by side with your Thinkorswim platform, but let me just show you what it is first, Just Trade. Okay. Um, still saying with Bigelow, I like the candle 60. Well, listen, that's great, and you know what, Danny? That's why. You know what? Let me tell you something. The great thing about being part of Bigelow or anybody out there is that when you start hearing, and you know, this is what I always tell everyone. Buy a little bit from everybody, right? And then you'll realize, like, you know what? I heard about Fausto. I heard about this guy about options. And he says, you know what? I, I was thinking about going with Steve, but I'm like, you know what? And I, I'm, I'm not really fully engaged. So let me try a little bit of everything. But then you hear him like, you know what? Boom. I didn't like anything I heard. Steve's the guy. Let me go with him. That's what you want to do. You know, that's why I'm here. We're not here in competition with each other. We're here to make you guys realize why you should be with that person. Because trading, guys, I told you this, it's not for everybody. Um, do you trade in your office in Sayasi? Yes, we do, Eric. Absolutely. And um, you're more than welcome to stop by in our, in, our, in our office there. Where do I get level three? Well, William, you can get it from your brokerage firm. Um, but, you, you know, but like I said, before you get there, let, let us show you what it is. Because remember, level three is going to show you where the buyers and sellers are. Okay? By the way, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm not trying to do a sales pitch here, but there were over 200 people here, and we're almost at over 20. So if you haven't registered already, um, if, if you missed the opportunity to get the free coaching with me, you'll be able to, um, what I'm going to do this, you'll be able to talk to one of our other coaches, because uh, there's only so many people I can talk to. It's a long conversation, but... If you're not the top, the people are registering right now, um, I'll let you talk to one of the top instructors in the trading room, so um, so you guys at least could talk to somebody could talk to you. Uh, does Trey Sain have it? Yes, it does, Jane. It's called the Matrix, and actually we showcased that in the.
say. So what are those levels about? The levels are, are price levels, so it kind of shows you, you know, kind of relate that to the chart. And then when you look at the levels, you look at the orders, gives you a game plan where to get in and where to get out. Okay. Can you explain? Yes, Jan. So anyway, we open, first of all, let me just repeat this really quickly. Um, the room, we open it up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, you'll see traders start getting, there's a big program trading it that starts around 8.30 Eastern time. And uh, we do a live audio broadcast at 9. You'll see the, most traders will probably be in trades by then because they have access to pre-market trading. And we're usually done by like nine, like 10 o'clock, 10.30. We'll just sell it into demand. And that's where, the, and, that's, and then we usually close out at 4, 4.30. We, we do an audio broadcast um, at 2.30 to trade the afternoon. And then we do another one at the close. Uh, can we get uh, TOS if, if we pay? I don't I know what you mean. Uh, can we get level three from? No, they don't. They don't offer it, period. They don't offer it. You have to go to the exchange. Don't worry about it. Listen, that's, 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 that's the least. Don't worry about that. That's the least of your problems. You're more than welcome, David. David, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Pre-market does start at 7, but we usually start at 8. There's really nothing going on at 7 a.m., JP. So you're saying we can sign up for seven days and can't, uh, I can't, yes. So, Jan, if you sign up now, you have to activate your account. You have to talk to an education advisor because, let me tell you what's going to happen. We do that because a lot of people will get into the room and they'll get confused. So they'll turn on, when you, when you activate your account, you pick a date and we'll start it. And we'd like to start you on a Monday going into Friday. Yes, it's all Eastern Standard Time, Brian. Absolutely. But this is um like, and by the way, it's not just day trading. We do do swing trading, and by the way, we do use Steve Bigelow's, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, indicators in there also. So we do both. We do some swing trading, day trading, and options trading. So I just want you to understand, it's not just an exclusive day trading room. We do a little bit of all of three. All right, and and believe me, we have a lot of students in there that are in Steve's room and our room, and they're kind of relating the two. Just remember, guys, great traders never stop learning. No problem, Robert. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'm just happy that you showed up. Guys, remember, there are over 25. <laughs> I think there's like 25 million people trading out there in the world. 99% of them are self-taught. Could you imagine giving your money to a guy that was self-taught? You see, I hate to say this, but I'm not trying to insult anybody. We just want to trade against the uneducated. you know. And, and that's why we're all here. And believe me, you're not. That's why you're here. Uh, I like the early pre-market opportunities. Well, Jan, like I said, you're going to see that when you're in the trading room. Okay? Live. You'll get to see the level two. You see how the charts work, all that stuff. Um, well, Robert, you know what? That's why I'm here. I'm glad it was an eye opener. And listen, when it was a. Let me tell you, Robert, let me just tell you a story. I don't know what time you logged in, but let me tell you. Um, when I started, I blew up three accounts. And I'm not embarrassed to say it, but at the end of the day, the reason why I blew up three accounts because I was self-taught. And when I first had the opportunity to live in New York and said, you know what, my dad said, you know what, you better get a damn job because and work for somebody. And I never wanted to learn from someone because of the money, the cost, and like I'm driving to the city, kind of stunk doing that. But let me tell you, when I when I worked in the when I walked in the door and I saw these people cheering and high fiving and and you know and then they they showed me exactly what I showed you today. I'm like, my God, I was trading blind the whole time. So, listen, level three is where it's at. You know? But you got to be happy, you know, and trust your mentors. That's the most important part. Well, thank you much, very much, Z. And this is my last lesson. I promised my wife 
uh, that I'm not going to do any work after this. And I'm going to be here for seven days. We flew in today, but you know what? Great traders that never stop recruiting. <laughs> That's the greatest thing about it. Um, Eric, just you know what? Talk to our education advisors. They'll let you know when you can stop in whenever you want. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Happy Passover and happy Easter, guys. Let me tell you, unfortunately, we, you know, there's a lot of people that, that are away this week. And, um, you know, and it's just uh, I like the audience today because that just shows you that there's a lot of committed people here today that really want to learn how to trade. Uh, you know, let me tell you, a lot of people are away. So, um, so happy Easter, everyone. So, guys, let me. Uh, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a day because uh, my wife's texting me, and my my dinner plate is waiting for me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my vacation. But I just want to thank Steve Bigelow for having me again. It's been such a long time, Steve. Steve, we gotta hang out. I know you're down in Pittsburgh, you know, and uh, you know, let me know when you're in town, and hopefully the Jets play the Pittsburgh Steelers one day, and we'll definitely hang out. I got season tickets. I got like. Ten tickets right on the goal, you know, right on the floor. So, be happy to uh, take you out. And I don't know if you're a football fan, but but anyway, uh, look forward to seeing you all. And thank you guys for being here and and taking the opportunity to stick around here at night. It takes a very very big commitment to be here at this late at night and listen in. But hopefully you learn a lot. And like I said, take the opportunity, do the you know, pay the seven dollars, come in the trading room, see if trading's for you. If you don't like, I give you money back. Um, but you got to learn. Just remember, everyone, you got to learn before you can earn. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your, your, your weekend. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. And uh, hopefully see you all on Monday. Good luck, everyone.